Have you ever wondered about the man who brought the disco era to India? Meet Bappi Lahiri, the golden boy of Indian music. He was not just a nephew to the legendary Kishore Kumar, but also a prodigious talent in his own right. From a tender age of three, he began his musical journey, first with the tabla, then moving on to other instruments such as the piano, drums, guitar, saxophone, bongos, and even the dholak. His passion for music was insatiable, his talent undeniable. This early immersion into the world of music paved the way for his first big break in Hindi films with the film Zakhmi in 1975. His compositions were fresh, innovative and they had a certain spark that set him apart and thus began the journey of a man who was about to bring a revolution in Indian music. From the tabla and the piano to the heartbeats of millions, Bappi Lahiri knew how to play them all. As we delve deeper into the musical journey of this legend, Bapida, as he was fondly known, it's impossible to overlook his monumental contributions to the Hindi film music scene. The 1980s, often referred to as the disco era in Indian cinema, was dominated by the infectious beats and electrifying tunes of Bapida. Although he rose to fame with films like Zakhmi, but it was disco dancer and Namak Halal that catapulted him to the peak of his career. He was not just a music composer, he was a wizard who weaved magic with his tunes, creating a unique blend of Indian and Western influences. His compositions had the power to make the audience groove, tap their feet and lose themselves in the rhythm. As you know, I Am A Disco Dancer is not just a song, but an anthem of an era. It captured the essence of the 1980s, reflecting the energy, the vibrancy and the spirit of the time. It wasn't just a hit in India, but across the globe, transcending geographical and linguistic barriers. Then came Raat Baki from Namak Halal, a song that is still remembered for its catchy tune and innovative use of electronic music. It was an audacious experiment that paid off, creating a trend that many followed but few could master like Bapida. His music was a fusion of the traditional and the modern, the classical and the contemporary. It was this unique blend that set him apart from his contemporaries and carved a niche for him in the music industry. He was not just creating songs, he was creating a new language of music. A language that spoke to the young and the old, the traditional and the modern, the Indian and the global. His music wasn't just a collection of tunes, it was a cultural phenomena that swept the nation. Bapida, didn't just play music, he played the heartstrings of millions, creating a symphony that still resonates in our hearts. Bapida's musical genius was not confined to just Hindi cinema. He was also a multilingual virtuoso. His musical prowess extended beyond the Hindi film industry, reaching the hearts of people from various regional backgrounds. In the vibrant world of Kannada cinema, Bappi Lahiri created musical waves with his melodious compositions for films such as Africa Dali Sheila, Krishnani, Begane Baro, Pulisma Tu Dada and Guru. These are testaments to his magical touch in Kannada music. Venturing into the Telugu film industry, Bapida composed memorable music for films like Simhasanam, State Rowdy, Rowdy Inspector and Poonia Bhumina. His compositions in Telugu were as diverse and impactful as his contributions to Hindi cinema. Tamil cinema also experienced the Bappi Lahiri phenomenon. His compositions for films like Apurva Sahodari Gal, Padum Vanambadi and Kijaku Africa Vil Sheila are still hummed by fans, reflecting the timeless charm of his music. His talents were not just limited to music composition, Bapida also lent his unique voice as a dubbing artist. In 2016, he brought the character of Tamatova to life in the Hindi version of the animated film Moana. He also dubbed in Hindi for Elton John's character in Kingsman 2 The Golden Circle in 2017, adding another feather to his cap. Bapida's contribution to the Indian music industry was so immense that he made it to the Guinness Book of World Records for composing music for 33 films in a single year. He also held a record of creating music for 12 super hit Silver Jubilee films from 1983 to 1985. These records are a testament to his unmatchable talent and work ethic. His versatility and talent knew no boundaries, making him a true legend. His legacy will continue to reverberate through the corridors of Indian music, reminding us of the golden era of his melodies. Bapida was more than just his music. He was a larger-than-life persona. 
His love for gold was well known and it wasn't uncommon to see him adorned in layers of gold chains and bracelets. His iconic sunglasses were as much a part of his image as his shiny attire. They were reflections of his vibrant personality, his flamboyant style and his unapologetic extravagance. Bapida lived his life in Technicolor and he brought the same vibrance and energy to his music. Bapida's influence has extended far beyond his lifetime. His music, filled with catchy tunes and infectious beats, has transcended time and continues to be loved by people of all ages. Songs like Yaad Aa Raha Hai, Intiha Ho Gai Intizar Ki, Jawani Jane Man, and one of my all-time personal favorites, Yaar Bina Chain Kaha Re, are cherished not just for their melodies, but also for the emotions they evoke. The legacy of Bapida is not just his vast discography or his numerous awards and accolades, but also the indelible mark he left on the music industry. He was a visionary who was way ahead of his time, a man who dared to be different and to challenge the norms. His music was his gift to the world, a gift that keeps on giving even after his departure. Bapida may have left us, but his music continues to live on, reminding us of the golden era of disco. A true legend, his tunes will continue to heal and entertain us for generations to come. So that was my tribute to the undisputed king of Bollywood melodies from the 80s. What are your experiences with Bapida's music? Please share it with me through the comments. Be sure to subscribe for more stories about your favorite music and musicians. Connect with me on Facebook and Instagram. The handle is at songsguitarmusic. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to Bapida until we meet in the next video.